as a marketer, you need to ship new landing pages every couple of weeks. But design them from scratch, it either slows us down, takes a lot of time, and sometimes if your design team is busy or you're stuck googling clean SaaS templates at 2 a.m., then making them look good and converting into a full-fledged website is time-consuming. And I don't want to spend hours doing that or beg a dev to fix the padding or something. So here's how I get it done. From an idea to a fully functioning website in under an hour without touching a line of code. Let me show the exact stack I use. So let's start from step one where I get inspired and pick the layouts that I know convert. So first stop, I head into landing folio. So this is landing folio. It's like a Pinterest for high converting landing pages. So whenever everyone, anyone who wants to design a website looks for three simple things, the layout, the size structure and the colors they want to use. So let's head over to these examples and see what we can learn or what we prefer. So let's see. For example, I like this one. So let's head over to this. Now either we will use this URL or take the whole page screenshot and put it in the next step like Lovable or the tool we'll be using and how we can make the structure out of it or build a clean website out of using this screenshot. Let's go. So now we are into step two, which is creation of website using Lovable. So all we have to do is head over to this website called Lovable and log in. That's the basic you can do. Then we just have to paste the screenshot that we have captured of the uh, from the landing folio pages. Then paste a small prompt that will copy the whole structure of the website, including all the colors and the buttons and whatnot. So we have just created a small prompt out of it. So we will paste that and enter so it will take a couple of minutes to generate the preview for you so that you can start you can publish that website and start using it now as you can see within minutes it has created a complete structure of the website as i wanted to for which the screenshot i have provided now you can just scroll down and check if everything is working as well if everything is as good as you provided the screenshot for if there are any changes you can prompt it again and it will make the changes for you now all you have to do is click on publish and Done. Now it has given me a live link which I can share it with everyone to view the website so that if there's any changes they want to do, they can suggest me or I can now start making a clone of this website. Let's go. So let's head over to step three, cloning the website using clone WebEx. Now this is one of the best tools that I have anytime used to clone a website. It is super easy and super useful. The best part is the pricing where you can use it for free for three exports per month and you can clone any websites. So let's head over to login first and start cloning. So we'll click on go to app. Since I already have an account, I will be already be logged in and here. Now let's create a new project. We'll create a new project. Let's name it demo and let's get the source of the domain from which we'll copy the lovable website and create. Now as soon as we are done with the next step is to install clone webex chrome extension that will do it by clicking here add and add now once it is installed you will see the extension right here so all you have to do is follow these steps now we will go to our target page so since this is the website we need to clone we'll start do doing that now we'll click on the clone webex extension select a project for example demo that we have created and we'll add the page now it will take a couple of seconds to generate the elements that they want to copy and boom what you see in front of you is ready to copy. Now you can go ahead and click on each of the sections that you want to copy. For example, I want to copy this. Now it will be selected. Now I can see with this eye icon to see if the selector that I have chosen is correct or not. Now since this is the only headline that is getting selected, so it will disappear. Now if I want to do this whole section, I can choose the parent selector. Okay. But since I have created the website and I want to do it for the entire page, on the right hand side, I will directly click on entire page. Okay. Now, it will ask me which page builder do I want to export it for. For example, there are many options, Gutenberg, Webflow, Breaks, Breakdance, but I do want to do it for Elementor. Now, before we do that, we need to install a plugin on our WordPress website, which is called the Softlight Integration Plugin. So, we will click on it and save. Now it has been downloaded. Now let's head over to our WordPress website. Now once we have logged in, we'll add the plugin that we have downloaded from that website. We we'll go to plugins, add plugin, and we'll click on upload plugin, and we'll add those plugins by directly uh, dragging it here. And we'll click on install now, and we'll activate. Now the plugin is installed and activated. Now we will go to that page and create a new page. We will write demo, and we'll create with edit with Elementor. 
Now once these are done, what you need to do is go below and click on export. Now as you can see it has copied to the clipboard. Now we will go to that Elementor page and we will right click on this and we will paste it from another site. And voila, you have successfully cloned the website within 2 minutes into Elementor blocks as you can see in front of you. Now, once I'm in Elementor, I can do anything. I can change the links, change the images, tweak the content, anything I want. I just don't change the structure because it is already set and you are good to go. It's like editing a Notion doc just for a website. Isn't it great? And just like that, the page can be live. Now from idea to a landing page in an hour, did I tell you so? No Figma, no waiting on dev, no pixel struggle. As a marketer, this tag has literally saved me so much time. So if you're shipping pages often for launches, ads or experiments, this workflow just works great. Try it out once and you won't go back for sure. Thank you.